SMT Nation, we back. Nation, this is going to be a really heavy video. I really don't like these types of stories, but I think it's really important that this information becomes public and you all need to know about this. Uh, the reason I say that is because there are a lot of Boost Mobile customers that watch the content here on my channel and look forward to the news and updates on all things going on with the wireless industry, including prepaid. And I will tell you, things at Boost Mobile for the last couple of years have been some of the most tumultuous times in the company's history. Transitioning from a Sprint company to a Dish-owned and operated company has been absolutely rocky to say, the, to say it nicely. Uh, but it has been borderline frantic and at times absurd. And I have, a, I have so much information and things that I've learned about the operations at Boost Mobile for the last couple of years. Uh, and I just haven't been able to make content about it. I haven't, I, I haven't really tried to kick them while they're down. But folks, there is a lot of horrible things happening with respect to customer security, lack of customer attention, uh, deception, you know, the, there's there's fraud happening, and that's what this video is about. There is literally a scam ongoing at Boost Mobile right now, so let me tell you all about it. Let me tell you what I know and what my sources have confirmed to me is happening at a large scale. Folks, there are going to be thousands of people impacted by this, and if, if you fit, you know, someone who might be affected by this, it might be time to consider... Maybe looking in to see if something, you know, may have impacted you, possibly. All right, so let me cover the news. Well, let me give you guys the details of what I know, and let's just go from there. Okay, so first of all, there is a Boost Mobile fraud ongoing. It is absolutely a scam that is happening within Boost Mobile stores. Let's start first with who are Boost Mobile customers? Who are prepaid customers? Well, quite often, it could be a number of different things. There's a wide diversity of folks that utilize prepaid and companies like Boost and Cricket and Metro and other companies, TrackPhone, whatever. Uh, they might have poor credit. They might have no credit. Uh, they might not be able to produce an ID, right? There's things like that. Uh, maybe they, they choose prepaid because they don't want to use their credit. There's a lot of different reasons here. I just wanted to name some, right? Some people fall on hard times. They can't afford... Or, or don't want to pay for uh, postpaid service, which often is overpriced for just the basic needs of people. All right, so those things are all in play here. But one of the things that Boost has changed, Boost Mobile, within the confines of its policies, is customers have to be able to produce a valid ID to qualify for, you know, phone upgrades, phone purchases, you know, special deals and promos, you know, services and and, and stuff like that. Some, oftentimes many people, aren't able to produce this ID, you know, for a lot of different reasons. Some people, you know, come in as immigrants and don't have an ID yet, but they need cell service. You know, um, some, some people maybe were previously incarcerated and have yet to get on their feet. There's a bunch of different reasons why they may not be able to produce an ID. Store reps, in order to bypass this, to get people activated in its cell lines and phones are using the identifications, the IDs and ID info of previously activated customers, using those IDs to open secondary accounts for people that don't have valid IDs. This creates two victims. It creates two victims because the ID holder becomes a victim because now there's going to be additional accounts opened on their identification and then the new customer because they can't produce that same ID at any point in the future to access the account to to make a payment in the store to get a another phone or another activation or, or another line right they they can't do any of those things the thing about all of this is dish boost mobile are not really addressing the issue it's starting to upwardly scale it's happening at a greater level, more frequency and more instances. And the most unfortunate part here is the fact that they're neglecting to address the issue. And you have agents at the stores who are simply trying to sell lines. They're responding to tough economic times, hard times in which they want to sell lines, but they're stuck with this policy in which they have to ID people in order to sell the lines. 
So they're trying to obviously survive in the economics, but they're doing so in a fraudulent and scamful way. And Dish is enabling it. And Dish has created the platform or the opportunity for these issues. This may be one of the dirtiest, sneakiest, most horrible things I've seen in the industry. I can't tell you guys how awful this is. I'm hearing accounts from multiple sources of this thing happening at huge scale across different states with many, many dealers and many agents. And again, there are multiple victims here. There's victims of circumstance. There's victims of negligence. And all of this because of a lack of attention and a lack of care by the owners. Dish is culpable. Boost Mobile is culpable. They have created the circumstance. They have created this environment, this ecosystem of fraud and scams. I feel bad on a lot of different levels for a lot of different people. How about the folks who are just trying to get service? And then they can't produce the ID, but then the agent lets them. Right. And then they come back to, to pay their bill or do something and they got to they're, they're stomping out their phones. They're throwing them in the trash. They don't want to risk, you know, immigration issues and them getting deported out of the country. And they just lost their number. They're going to have to get a new number. And where are they going to do it? How are they going to do it? They're out of a phone They're you, you and, and they've been given out that number to establish employment. Who knows? Family. Look at look at the problems it's going to create. Folks, this is horrible. And I had to make a video. I had to get these facts out, but folks, if you are a Boost Mobile customer and you've been in a store recently and and things may have seemed a little sketchy, things may have seemed a little unusual, I mean, it, it might be worth investigating. And if you've been a victim of this and you couldn't understand why and what was happening, now you may have some answers. Um, I don't know who to blame, blaze, blame on, who to place the blame on outside of Dish and Boost. You got people trying to survive in these stores and sell lines and services. You got people just trying to get service, you know, and, and you got people who innocent bystanders, they're getting their IDs used and, and stolen. Basically, it's basically identity theft here, right? This is pretty sad. This is really sad, actually. I don't know how much of this goes on at other companies. I don't know. Cricket, Boost, TrackPhone. I don't know those things. But this is the first time I've seen this concentration of cases coming from multiple sources telling me the same thing. There are people trying to do things right, and there are people who are trying to do things wrong. And all of this because of the mayhem and the madness at this company. And it's been like this for three years. Absolutely horrible. Enough of the chicanery. Enough of the tomfoolery. It's ridiculous. Horribly run business. They need to be held accountable. And I think that's how we're going to end this video. You know, do your best to try to address it if it may impact you. I hope this finds you in time to possibly get you some good information. Folks, if you appreciate this, like and share. Help others find out about this. And if you want to support the channel, the links are in the description for that. Support your favorite creators if you found value in this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.